HJZ Lasers in E Laser Welding Machine. This is the water inlet. Open the lid. This is the water inlet. Add water to the green area first. Now I'm holding a complementary outlet pipe. The machine needs to be replaced with water every three months. Unplug the blowdown valve and insert it into the outlet pipe for blowdown. Close the drain valve after the operation is completed. Here are the voltage line, the air inlet pipe, and the cable of the wire feeder. When we begin to use it, we need to measure the electricity voltage at the use site first. First, prepare a multimeter and turn the multimeter to AC gear. Here are the live wire neutral wire and ground wire. Measure the voltage of the live wire and the neutral wire. The required voltage in the range of 380 Volt. LE is the live wire, NE is the open wire, and PE is the ground wire. Pay attention to safety when connecting electricity and turn off the air switch. When wiring, be sure to connect it firmly and then pull it. Connect the ground wire and open wire in sequence. Push the air switch up and open it. This machine should choose nitrogen with a purity of 99.9. Nitrogen pressure reducing valve is added in front of nitrogen. There is a buckle here which needs to be tightened to prevent air leakage. Because the air inlet pipe of the equipment is an air pipe with an outer diameter of 8 mm, the pressure reducing valve needs a 10 mm trachea. Therefore, it is necessary to prepare a quick change connector that turns from 10 to 8. Insert both ends tightly and turn on the nitrogen switch. The gas meter here shows the gas volume. We set the air pressure to 0.5. The range of nitrogen used at ordinary times is between 0.45 and 0.5. Here is the internal structure of the wire feeder. This side is the distribution welding wire. After receiving it, unscrew it from here and put the welding wire in. Just install and tighten it. This is the spare wire feeder. At first, the wire was fed manually. Turn on the switch here. Just manually send the silk to the tip of the gun to expose it. Turn off the switch when the wire feeding is finished. Now how to turn on the machine? Turn on the circuit breaker knob. Wait for the screen to turn on. Adjust the parameters here. The cleaning width is within 30. After adjustment, click import and then click return. The modification is successful. Click import and then click return. The modification is successful. Follow the prompts to power off. And then turn it on again to switch to the welding interface. The same operation is used to adjust the required parameters. If you need to adjust the cutting mode, in the welding mode, adjust the width tooling in the power. After importing, the swing speed is synchronized to Ling. And then it is the cutting mode. Weld seam cleaning similarly. Adjust the interface power to Sunby and the width to Wu. Now we're talking about wire feeders. The first button is function selection. The second is manual recycling. And the third is manual wire feeding. Here is to adjust the wire feeding speed. Turn off the main power switch. Turn off the nitrogen switch and tighten it to prevent leakage. 